Hi, I'm Adam. I'm here with my friend Gus on camera at the 2018 Pacific Northwest Lens Summit in beautiful Portland, Oregon. We're gonna go meet with the biggest cinema lens manufacturers in the world, talking about vintage lenses, new technologies, and innovations for large format. Let's go check it out. I have the honor today of being with Eric Johnston of Cook Lenses, uh, English company, right? Yes, we're actually 130 plus years old. Wow. So we're one of the oldest manufacturers, continuous manufacturers here in the business. I actually work for ZGC, which is the exclusive distributor of Cook lenses in North America, but we're all one big happy family. What distinguishes Cook from the other lens manufacturers is what we refer to as the Cook look which is a very subjective sort of look, but as an artist or as a director of photography, you know inherently what that is and what it's bringing to your work. It's interesting because there's been a huge technological shift over the last 10 years, and that's been attributed to a number of things, but basically what is happening right now is people are looking towards the lenses themselves to help create the look of your project. You used to look towards the film stocks to do that, but with the digital cameras, all of the sensors are very sterile, if you will, and people are looking towards the lens to help craft the look. And that's where Cook really comes into its own. And what I brought here today, we introduced at NAB a year ago two new lens sets. One was the S7s and one were the Pancro Classics. Right here, this is the S7, and that's sort of what we're concentrating on at the Lens Summit. The reason for that is we're talking about full frame or large format, if you will. That is very really, popular right now. Absolutely. You had the Monstro, the red Monstro sensor, which was the first, if you will. Very large image sensor area, and then came the Sony Venice, and then right after that was the Area LF. And anybody that seemed to be waiting to see what was going to happen seemed to get off the fence as soon as the LF was introduced. So with that, there's now a huge appetite, if you will, for large format lenses. And it perfectly fits with the new Cook S7 Full Frame Plus. These will do full frame plus a little bit more. So a good example of that, a lot of people can relate to, they'll do the 5K mode on the Aries 65. This was not meant to be a 65 millimeter coverage or IMAX lens, but it will go full frame beyond. So that 5K is a, a nice reference point, if you will, for what an extra bit of resolution or image size would be. So you're doing big lenses. Um, what's what are how are these built? Is this a uh, like a steel or aluminum chassis on these they're, lenses? They're aluminum and um, they're built hand built in the same factory as all the other Cook lenses. So that's a little bit interesting. The way that we do our manufacturing is a bit different than a lot of the other lens manufacturers. One of the most unique things about this is we build our lenses twice. We build them once dirty, clean everything, and then put them back together. Cook is very unique in the way that they do that. And I was um, fortunate enough to literally visit our factory after NAB last year and just seeing 100 year old machines and people polishing glass by hand. It's not a, a, an industrial factory, if you will, they you know, do do industrial operations. It's really more of an artisan factory, I would, I would classify it as. It's really an amazing place. To help I overheard you earlier talking about that, about the, the really handmade approach, the skill set that it takes from a person to be able to sit down, polish that lens, grind it correctly, and it sounds like that's kind of the, the cook signature. It, it absolutely is. I mean, we have million dollar CNC machines that can polish lenses in three hours. But that gentleman that's been doing it for 30 years, it takes him 30 hours to do, he can do a, get a better result than that million dollar machine. So that's part of the magic. So you have to sort of temper that in your whole manufacturing process. You can't do everything by hand, but you can't automate everything either. So we've tried to find our happy medium, and right now our output is higher than it's ever been, but the lens market, the appetite for these lenses has never been bigger. Well, that's good news. So it sounds like people are really learning now that lenses is where the magic happens. We've reached peak resolution and sharpness in our cameras, and this is where the real artistry is coming in. I know Cook is famous for its anamorphics. Um, can you tell us anything about the Pancro? 
so many people had an appetite for vintage lenses and they were searching for vintage lenses to rehouse and it's becoming harder and harder to find good vintage lenses. There were lots of these around. These were made 50 to 70 years ago. The three big drawbacks, even with a very beautiful rehousing from PNS or TLS, they didn't cover Super 35 on the wide end. They weren't color matched. And then the biggest problem for rental houses like yourselves were there were no spare parts available. So if one of your lenses went down, that meant the whole set was unrentable. So we solved all three of these. They cover Super 35 on the wide. They are all color matched with the Cook look. So these can be intercut with all of the modern Cook lenses. And of course, because they are brand new optical designs, we can supply spare parts. So everybody's happy. How does that differ from the S7? The S7s have more of, a, if you will, of an S4 look. And part of the S4 project was cleaning up some of the chromatic aberration and things like that that were noticeable on the original Pancros and bringing them to the next level. Very desirable in, in terms of vintage look. So we left them the way that they are with a completely new optical design because Cook knows the secret sauce, if you will. With the new optical design, new glass and new coatings, we're very closely mimicking the look of the original 50 to 70 year old lenses. And that's no small feat. Eric, thank you so much. Adam, thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. It was a wonderful event. Really great to have you. This is a beautiful collection. It's an honor to have Cook come to Portland, Oregon and talk about these kind of lenses here at Kerner Camera. Thanks. Thank you.